so quick as humans to crucify somebody when they are down. Now, what Mika Worldwide did, allegedly, is totally messed up. And he should definitely serve the time for the crime. But I'm not going to crucify him because I feel like this guy had an inner demon within him. Anybody who goes to different hoods and different countries around the world with a camera is looking for two things. Hope to be killed or make a lot of money from doing it. Because he had an inner demon with him saying, that, you know what, I have nothing to lose. I'm wanted. My life is pretty much over. So I'm just going to enjoy these last moments while I got the chance. That's the only reason why I can see this guy going to different, not just any hood, but the most dangerous hoods in the world by himself with the camera just asking for a death sentence. So the guy was crying out for help. Now, things always happen for a reason. And I think, you know, Miko, man, he was, he's crying out for help and no one, no one even seen it coming. Um, the thing that he did allegedly to these young people, young boys is, um, is based on hyenas, man. It's crazy. And he deserved to be punished for what he have done. But also, let's look at the cause. Let's, let's look at the reason why this happened. Because we all know things happen for a reason. Um, I don't think I don't think he woke up one day saying, you know what, I'm going to rape little boys. And I don't think he woke up saying that. I think this guy's been through something in his lifetime that needs to be addressed, that needs to be heard. I think this guy been through some things in his lifetime that um that he experienced. Maybe it was child abuse, maybe it was sexual abuse. Something happened in his childhood that made him the monster he is now. So I'm sure he have a story. And once you guys hear his story, you may show a little more compassion for him not forgiving him for what he have done, but just look at on the, on, the, on the other side of the picture, okay? And um, so yeah, hopefully one day he can come out in the interview or maybe somebody will interview him and ask you why you do it. And maybe we will finally get some closure on the reason why he did it. Because in my mind, this guy had to have been abused when he was younger. He must have been sexual abused when he was younger by someone in his own family or some of his closest family friends. Something happened to this young man. And um, like I said, I'm not gonna crucify him like all of you have been doing. Um, we need to get to the root of the cause. You know, sometimes we just see one side of the equation. Oh, this guy's a monster. You know what he did? He tied boys up and put them in the trunk of a car. Who does that, people, without a reason? The guy was going through a lot up here and down here. He was asking, he was crying out for help. And that's the reason why this guy can show up in every hood around the world, the most dangerous hoods in the world, and have no fear because he was looking for a way out one way or the other he was looking for a way out so i'm asking you you know understandably people are upset and you have every right to be upset about what he have done but at the same time let's look at the root of the problem and why it happened. I'm sure Miko has a story to tell. And when he tells his story, some of you may think twice or may think different of him when it's all said and done. All right, y'all. Be safe out there. Take care of yourself, okay?